check out my new radiance broken bill this thing not only destroys anything and very easy i gotta tell you you're going to be dealing over 150 percent additional radiance damage on top of this you're going to be moving like thor and dealing damage like if you were thor in that sense you're probably going to be feeling like you're him but how do you put this together how do you raise all that power to make yourself very invincible well you're here at the right place so today i'm going to be showing you what exactly you need to do what weapons what spells and of course what type of stats you're going to be needing to be feeling like a god in lords of the fallen so one thing in particular we're going to be focusing on is on the flickering flail plus 10. this weapon here is one of the most fun weapons to use now because not only is it a brand new weapon but on top of this this thing you are able to just like dance and hit and strike and delete anything that gets in your way to make this even more stronger we have added a couple actually three additional runes which are going to increase our holy damage which is going to take it to a freaking new level and you're seeing here how easily and how much fun I'm having destroying anything that gets in my way. To make this even better, we need to pair it up with the best Radiant Catalyst. And this is going to be the Exactor Scripture. So you're able to see there, I'm going to be dealing 197 plus 494 just and spell power. Of course, S plus doesn't get better than that, of course, but not, not, not. It gets even better. I'm going to be showing you how we're going to break the game. How this is so broken. One hit anything that gets in your way. It's just ridiculous how you're going to be able to deal this damage. Now, of course, we're going to need four additional spells. And to make this happen, one is going to be the Radiant Weapon, which we're going to be using a lot with our flickering flail because we're going to be infusing and this is what's going to give us an additional a hundred percent of just pure radiance damage which is crazy which also we're going to be using this meeting shield and the piercing light and of course the aureus judgment all these four different spells is going to make this build so much fun now of course we got to go with the latest and greatest armor which is going to be the illuminator aubrey the helm the armor the gauntlets and the leggings just to look good and feel like Thor. Now, of course, this is where the extra sauce comes in, guys. Check it out. We are going to be using the scornful FNG. Now, guys, this is for those for those players that want to risk everything and gain everything at the same time. This thing is going to give you an additional and I'm not even joking, 50 to almost 80% additional damage to any of our spells. Of course, of course, it's going to reduce your health. That is why I'm telling you, this build is not for everyone. This is for the one that wants to risk the biscuit just to gain that extra sauce. And of course, we're going to be using it with the Barrage Root. This one is going to remove one spell. Now to get this, guys, imagine this, having less and more power making you feel like thor and to make this even greater than what it is trust me there is no other build guys this is so much fun because we're going to be increasing our holy damage but an additional 20 percent by just wearing the orion sorcery ring that is crazy right not only we got 20 percent, we got an additional 20 percent, and we got an additional let's just say 50 percent so we're talking about 90%. And then on top of this, if we are able to use this with our weapon, we're talking about 190% more radiance power, which is ridiculous if you're using it with the flickering flail. Now, I always had Inferno as being one of the most OP classes, but I gotta tell you, after putting all of this together and seeing how much damage how much fun you can have in the game uh ng plus one two three whatever you're doing this thing is just going to be destroying anything that gets in the way now to just have a few extra things we of course we're going to use the bristone trio 
and also the large Manistrum cluster. And I'll give you a little tip, a little bit more into the video. And now if you want to use the magic worn, this is just to, you know, it was just going to help you with the powder, providing an increased defense against all type of magic so whenever you are in a certain location that you're going to be hit by different type of magics just use this and you're going to have a little bit more hp because you're going to take less damage and of course i always i always encourage you to use the unripe berries because this this is going to raise your stamina and the more stamina you have the more you're going to be wielding this flickering flail at anything that gets in your way as you are able to see this i am using the secret weapon attack in this build not only does it just shoot anything out of this earth with one single shot deletes anything that gets in the way and all you got to do is just get all these different parts now if you don't know how to get it i have the link in my description Check out that link. It's going to show you how exactly you are able to get the weapon in this cool armor. Now that we got this out of the way and we are shotting everything we want shot, we're having a lot of fun destroying anything that gets in the way and just being the most powerful and the most broken build in Lords of the Fallen. Our stats are going to be the following. Even though I'm level 174, don't let that discourage you. We're going to be focusing on Radiance. Next, we're going to be focusing on strength, width, endurance, and agility, and of course, vitality. All those because we want to make sure we have enough strength to be able to just wield everything destroyed. Agility, because we're going to need it, because as you are able to see there, I am moving really fast. I am hitting with this thing with almost 1,500, 1,800 damage, which is crazy, right? And then on top of this, we're going to be using our endurance and our vitality because we need to make sure that we're always moving and striking because we are so agile that nothing can get in the way and nothing can touch us and of course inferno is going to be at 20 so that is how you're able to put this amazing broken bill after the latest patch try it let me know in the comment section below and if you try it of course let me know how you feel it because I can give you another option. If you are don't want to have that low of HP, you can always switch this one to the following, which is going to be the, the Princess Sting. This is also going to increase your damage, but it's not going to raise it to the max level, which the other pendant is going to do, which is going to increase it to almost 200 damage. And who doesn't want to have that power in Lords of the Fallen, right? So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, turn notifications to all, and we'll see you guys on the next video.